So I'm gonna cut this one in half. And we will attach it like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, this is awkward holding it like this for me. So I'm gonna bend it at an angle and make it more ergonomic. It's gonna be a lot easier for me. I'm not gonna have to like awkwardly hold my arm out to make it more natural. I like everything to be at a 90 degree angle perfectly. Helps eyeball it. And then we'll just trim it down as needed. We want it to come down a little bit up here, so we'll line up. So it's all just about, you know, lots of little adjustments. So I've got a small sharp flame now so I can do a hot seal. And we'll do one section at a time. So I'm not going to tack this punty off right now because we've got a lot of fragile stuff going on um, and we've got a cold seal here. So I'm not going to even risk it. I'm just going to melt it off and then take the extra off when I'm done. Let's do the other side of the apple. There's a small gap here, so I'm just going to use a very small piece of rod, add a tiny bit of glue. Now it's slightly crooked to the side, so I'll heat both connection points so I can adjust it slightly. All right, now we've got our basic apple form. Magic. So now I want to make sure everything is a hot seal. So I'm going to go in and heat all the connections. Now I'm going to reposition the punty because it is now awkward again. 
And whenever we're doing anything like this size, where we're going to be going in and out of the kilt potentially, you never want your putty to be too short. You always want it to be at least eight inches. So you have, it's a counterweight and it's also, um, it also makes it so you can put it in the kiln and you won't burn your hand. Because the handles get hot. I know, yeah, same. I was like, I'm just gonna see if it happens to come off really easily. <laughs> if not, just accept that. Better safe than sorry. You have like a flat tool you can very gently press it okay so we got our apple form so now let's fill it out a little bit so we're going to be doing some bendy lines so we want to have a gentle flame oh my note my phone it's exciting all right, so I've turned my propane up, my oxygen down. Let's see how this does. And we're just gonna start creating some sections. I'm just gonna do a few here um, so you can see how I do bendy lines. Start with a hot seal. And then we'll trace the imaginary contour of this apple. So I'm not going to just wrap one rod all the way around because that will make um, the connection point for the crossover really lumpy and um, they won't look as good so I'm just at each connection point I'm melting it off and doing a hot seal and then I'll just re refuse it so it just takes a little bit of adjusting the flame I turn my oxygen up to do the hot seal then turn it back down to do the bend and that's just part of um, the process. undulating a little bit because I'm looking at it from one direction and it's not bothering me because it's an organic form I don't mind but if you wanted it to be completely straight all the way around what you can do is you can get a sharpie and mark you know every section and that will just give you a place to look at and it will help a lot the other thing you can do is just adjust it a little bit it's not too bad but just as an example that's just something you can think about
Any questions? Just thinking about what you want to make? Yeah. Oh, I hate when that happens. My hands are full. multiple parts together nearby does it make more stress yeah. yeah yeah great question absolutely if we did a lot of connection points together um, like more than three it'll be a lot of stress so if you can just put them a little bit further apart even a matter of millimeters